Hey guys, it's White Knight Cosplay here for another pattern review. And I decided today to do something a little bit different. Um, instead of doing an individual pattern review for each pattern, I'm going to compare two that are for this, basically the same type of thing. So I'm going to be looking at corsets today. Um, so this is the one I've used quite a bit. This is Simplicity's S0492. And there you can see it. Um, and it has a lot of really fun um, different ideas for different trim and detailing and things like that. It also has an option for um, just a waist cincher instead of a full corset. And this one I've used several times for some of my um, cosplay things and I, I never do it like it looks on my corsets because I'm always doing different modifications and different changes for whatever character I'm playing. So anyway, um, first we're going to look at this one. And here is, can you see that? Uh, here is one that I did. I did some modifications on this, so I will show you the liner to show you what it actually looks like. Um, I added all the chevroning on here for a commission piece. But I made an extra liner to show you guys. So this is the inside of the liner, so you can see the stitching, and I did it in black so it would kind of stand out. And if you can, as you can see, from top to bottom, they're solid pieces. And that goes around to the side. Um, and there is no um, bust cutout, so that's what I just wanted to show you, that it's all pretty streamlined. So the great thing about this pattern is it is very simple. It's pretty good for a beginner. Um, I mean, you have to learn a little bit about the boning and putting in fun grommets and things like that, or eyelets. Um, so, but for, for a, a corset, for a basic corset, it's a pretty easy, easy pattern to do. Um, if you are a curvier girl, this may not really enhance your curves well. Um, it is a little more streamlined, so if you are more slender and don't have a lot of curves, it's good. Um, or if you are bustier and you might be trying to minimize a little bit of your curves or you have enough curves that it doesn't matter, <laughs> then this is a good pattern. Um, I was always frustrated because I couldn't get a lot of cleavage or bust curves that I wanted. So on this one I actually added a padded breast, breast form on it. and then. Um, this is another one that I did, and I also added a, a, a cup in there as well to give a little bit more shape so that you can kind of see it. Um, and that's set with a not, there's not a lot of modifications other than that um, and the exterior, um, and that's just decorative. But the basic structure is pretty much as the pattern shows. Um, the other thing that this pattern does not have that another pattern that we're going to look at does is there is no piece that goes behind uh, the, the uh, lacing which is nice. It's nice to have that little expansion piece um, so that you can have gross expansion room and also just to kind of cover that little bare skin area. Um, so for this one I actually added that in. And you can see it fairly well right there. And that's a pretty simple addition but it's just something to be aware of. It doesn't come on the pattern but it's a fairly easy addition to make after you've done um, putting in all your eyelets. So that is for Simplicity 0492. So that's that one. So the plus is simple, nice streamlined, easy to make, um, easy to modify and play around with for different cosplay characters. Um, downside doesn't give you a lot of curves, doesn't have a lot of um, detailing that the next one we're going to look at has, um, and it doesn't really make those curves pop like, it, like you might want them to. So then we're going to look at McCall's pattern M7339, and this is one of Yaya Han's new cosplay line. Uh, which I'm really excited about. I'm glad to see, um, especially McCall's is actually having a whole section in their um, pattern manuals or pattern catalogs for specifically for cosplay, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and I'm always looking for some basic pieces that I can use for a lot of different costuming and modify and, and play around with. So I bought this one just because I'm always looking for new patterns and I sort of have a small pattern obsession. It's borderline illness, I think. But anyway, um, so I'm always picking up patterns just for fun. And so this one I made, and I love this pattern. So that is this. Both of these I made out of a pleather, so uh, you have a little less flexibility that you might have with fabric. So kind of keep that in mind as you're looking at these. And it's, I don't think it's, it, I don't think it specifically recommend, yeah, it does not recommend um, leather or pleather for this. So um, I had to make a few modifications for it. But I love it because it's got beautiful detailing where the boning goes. Um, with the stitch detailing and it has a really pretty um, cup form which I love and it has some detailing across that as well and it gives you just a gorgeous shape. I absolutely love it. 
Um, it really hugs the curves. If you are a curvier person, um, it's going to really accentuate that. And if you are not terribly curvy, which I'm not, I don't have a lot of curves, um, this really looks great. It's gorgeous. Um, it has different um, adjustments for cup size, so if you're slender but busty, it'll accommodate for that. Um, there's different, uh, really pretty accurate measurements on how to get your cup size for this, which is nice. Um, but it's just gorgeous. I love it. And then this is the back. Let's see if I can turn that. It has that panel I was talking about, so you have some expansion room. Um, and it's a lot longer than this other piece, so that's something to keep in mind. It's going to hug down on the, on the hips a little bit more. Turn around there, girl. Okay. Um, so it's going to hug down on the hips a little bit lower, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, it does also have the option for the waist cincher as well, as you can see right there where it takes the um, cups out. And like I said, it's, it's a gorgeous pattern. It is a lot more complicated. Um, if you're a brand new seamstress, this will probably frustrate you and I would recommend not doing it as one of your first projects. Uh, this one actually, when you're doing um, a fabric, not leather, I, um, there's actually four layers. So you have your liner, you have your interfacing, uh, you have your fabric, and then you have another layer of fabric as well. I took one of those out because I was dealing with leather. Um, the only big thing I would change is it recommended an extra wide um, trimming around here, and I would go thinner just because you end up with a little bunching of the fabric here, which I'm going to go back and change. Um, I just want to show that for the review. So I would not do extra wide. I would do something a lot thinner so you can accommodate, you can ease those curves in a little bit better. But other than that, um, it is one of my absolute favorites. I love it. So I would highly recommend giving it a try if you're looking for a really nice curvy corset pattern. Um, okay, so that's my pattern reviews for today. And I hope this is helpful. Um, ask any, any questions you have in the comments section and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe down below. And I also have my social media links there so you can check me out on social media. All right, guys, thanks so much and I'll see you next time.